Hey, my name is Jane Blankenship. I am a student at the University of Pikeville in Pikeville, Kentucky. I am doing a YouTube vlog for my religion class. My instructor's name is Robert Music. Um, I'm going to be reading from the notes that I've taken from, from my assignment. Um, I am doing a book review of Jesus and his enemies. Um, the author is Robert R. Beck. Um, I'm going to be reading from my notes, um, and, I, and I have numbered them, and I'll be, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading this. And um, My name is Jean Blankenship, and uh, here goes. Uh, number one, describe the book. What is the overall thesis? Is it interesting, memorable, entertaining, instructive, and why? Uh, my answer to this is the book is very entertaining and knowledgeable of the information it represents. One thing not in this book is that, that my son told me was about Moses. We haven't went over that yet in, in my class, but my son was more excited about this assignment as me, except for I don't want to post it on YouTube, lol. Um, he was taught about Jesus in the history class um, due to religious men taken out of public class, public schools. I'm not really a big fan of that, but uh, my son was telling me that Moses was left in a basket to protect him from slavery and violence. Um, so the Bible and Jesus' time, there was a lot of violence that had taken place. But um, if children aren't taught about religion these days, what are we teaching them? But the New Testament was filled with violent stories and how Jesus saved those who prayed. It makes me happy to know that religion is taught in class today, even though it wasn't a religion class, it was a history class, if that makes sense. This book contains biblical themes and messages to present concerns in the world today. The, Rob, the author, R. Robert Beck, is a Catholic priest and scholar from the state of Iowa. In this book, he seeks to address the American legend of violence. He examined the Gospels and res responses to Christian communities and the, conf the conflicting issues today. The messages expressed in each of the four Gospels is conveyed not through just not through just Jesus teaching or stories but through the overall narrative itself particularly through the introduction and resolution of conflict throughout this remarkable narrative the evangelists show Christians how they are to act in situations of conflict without forgetting the demands of love I feel that it offers a creative role to biblical teachings of violence ethics and the Christian pursuit of peace number two Respond to the Arthur's worldview. What do you agree with and why? What do you disagree with and why? For Beck, an important element of Central American myth is that violence sought out by good by a good person can hinder the implement threat or violence or act of violence coming from an evil person. The good guy with a gun defeats a bad guy with a gun myth stretches back to the American founding but Christians need to be reminded that this myth runs opposite to God's plan for the flourishing of individuals and societies. This plan of God for human flourishing reveals mostly directly in the crucifixion, and so Beck examines how each evangelist presents the message of crucifixion in a way to counter this American myth. I totally agree with that. Number three, explore issues the book raises what possibilities do the book suggest explain what matters does a book leave out explain Beck's procedure in his study of four gospels is a version of literary criticism with an emphasis on the elements of the story of Jesus distinctive to each gospel that highlight the terms of the conflict how the characters interact how the story identifies issues that provoke conflict how, is, how the conflicts are resolved, and in particular, how Jesus comes to recognize the task that he is enjoined to complete. The evangelists present a story of conflict resolution that stands in contrast to explanation of, of the, that time and place. Sorry. Number four. Relate your argument to the, to the other books or authors. Support your argument For or against the author's opinion by bringing in uh, bringing in other authors you agree with. In gospel 
of Mark, Jesus is presented in the model of a Gilean battle figure who meets opposition from a Jewish leadership in Jerusalem. But unlike those figures, Jesus rejects the strategy intended for violence. Jesus employs the strategy of a nonviolent conflict resolution. Beck highlights many elements of Mark's narrative craft, such as many dualities that draw attention to this message. Um, I chose another book. It's called The Violence, the Violence of the Biblical God. And this book, book was published on January 8th, 2019, so it's been fairly recent. The author was Daniel Hogg. This book was recently released and is telling us how we can make sense of violence in the Bible. It states that Joshua commands commands the people of Israel to wipe out everyone in, in the promised land of Canaan, while Jesus commands God's people to love their enemies. How are we to in, inter, interpret Bible passages on violence when it is sanctioned at the point and commended to, at another? The violence of the Bible, biblical God, presents a new framework. It is rooted in the authority of Scripture for understanding the insanity of God's participation in violence. Hawk shows how historical and narrative of the Bible offers multiple recognized pictures for faithful Christian engagement with the violent systems of the world. Number five. Relate the book to larger issues. How did the book affect worldview? How how have your opinions about the topic changed? How was the book related to the course? How did the thesis compare with uh, the course material? What are your reactions? Did the book enhance your understanding of the issues? Be, be as direct as possible. I feel that most of our world issues stem from violence. We as a world don't have much positivity. You would think that if we could cure cancer and other deadly conditions that we would all want to treat each other with respect. You would think that others would want to spread wealth to unprivileged countries other than the next song to go viral. We have world problems, not just, not just American problems. I think we are failing Jesus. We have countless children suffering without water and food, but yet we see rich individuals who can't decide which $5,000 pair of shoes to wear. Our priorities as a world couldn't be more wrong. I feel that violence is a major issue because we do train our troops how to shoot and kill the enemy. We Will we ever have world peace? I don't see world peace in my lifetime. I feel within the technology, how technology has improved, we, we should be able to help each other and feed the starving children and help the poor and encourage them to take part in involving their lives. I feel that poverty influences individuals to do violent acts to gain the things they need. If they had better skills and a better education, I feel that they would be more confident and would want to help others instead of harming them with acts of violence. The book is related to the course because it's teaching us about how, how the four books of the New Testament, the 27 books, I'm sorry, and how Jesus wants us to spread love and do the right thing and to love thy neighbor and enemy. This book did help me understand the issues of violence and it stated that Jesus is not just controlled by it. He and the people are longer under the sway of violence. That is on page 212 of our book, Jesus and His Enemies. The book has been helpful by helping me understand the New Testament a little better. Number six. In the final comments, you must either recommend or not recommend the lecture with a stated reason. This book is related to the course, and it can, in fact, uh, be an addition, additional text in an upper-level undergraduate course it, for students in other similar fields. For this reasoning, I would recommend this lecture to others. It is very knowledgeable about the 27 books of the New Testament. Um, that is my book review of Jesus and His Enemies. Um, I have stuttered a few times, and I hope that's okay. Um, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robert. Goodbye.